All right, guys, so, bit of rainstorm. We're in our area, and I've just got out to dig. I've been doing National Guard for two weeks. Quick update, I fell eight feet out of an LMTV and landed on my back, so that was fun. It's doing okay. Hurt both my knees, my heel. I got back and then some guy ran a stop sign and me and my brother were driving and he's let me drive his 1976 Chevy Scottsdale in perfect condition and some guy hit us. So I'm finally out to dig after like two weeks and this is the first bottle we're pounding out here. We've kind of done some digging in this area more just destroying top surface. So I dug, I still have a bit to dig way down there, but we're up towards the top here. Just kind of doing easy stuff since I got hit and we got a Dr. King's new life pills. Whew. And that's a nice looking base right there. This should be blown. I found the machine made versions of these, but yeah. It's a nice little bottle. Dr. King's new life pills. So what we're gonna do is kinda just destroy top surface and I think in this area I might start going down where I got part to a Coca-Cola and some of that and a blob that was broken come out. So yeah, we're gonna keep on the bottle hunt and we're gonna see what comes out guys. All right, so this is all the stuff we dug out for few soda pieces blank uh, med bottle but we got one in here it's probably an unembossed med Woo, let's go unembossed med <laughs> it's got the slug though it's a 3vi from wbm co i don't know what that is what that stands for but um be cool to see what it does stand for. There's a lot of mosquitoes out here. Let me see if we can nail something else. All right, guys. I just saw that, and then I looked down, and there's a soda. Sheared top, probably a weeping water. Yep. This one will be just about as good as the last one I got that was super good last time. Very nice. Ooh, yeah. I like that. I mean, the top's still somewhat broken, but I don't care. That's one bottle I am always on the look for in this place. I need to get my small shovel, though. So, let's grab it. If we can find it in this conundrum. Always have your shovels prepped. Don't forget them like me. Here's another one I found, another WB and Co version. Don't know what that is, but um, yeah, we're here and hopefully this is a, nope, it's definitely broken, but something else is right there. This would have been a mason jar, but what type, I don't know. Looks like the good part of it was cut off. But here. Yeah, this one's broken too. You can still see what it was. Ooh, looks like it would have been a nice Scots emulsion. Oh, big base on that. Look at that as the, the person there. With the fish, you see that fish on the left? We found one of these bottles before. Cod liver oil. Then easily 19 or 1890, uh, 1900s. Really nice bottle right there. So, hmm. See if we can pop anything out in the immediate presence of this. It just looks like there are those things. Man, that was pretty cool. Oh, look. Here's another one. 
This one does have a circle slug. It's just unembossed. I've seen at least one of these. Wish they had embossing. It'd be super cool, but it's not every day you see those. Not every day at all that you see those. So we're easily in some 1890s stuff in this area and some 1914 type stuff. So a good time frame to be mixed together. But yeah, get back at it. All right guys, I got one of the most unique and smallest and melted bottles ever. And I was like, no way it's embossed and it's a rubiform which is like for the teeth, it's from Lowell, Massachusetts. This thing is small. Usually they're like this big. This one, like, like maybe, I don't know, like one tenth the size of that other one, which is crazy. Man. Just not expecting that little guy. All right, guys, here we go. Hopefully this is a soda. It is, it's a complete one too. It's one of the best looking. Elwig bottling content, some fluid ounces, Lincoln, any BR. Nice. It's got a little lip chip, but it looks good for the most part. Hmm. Little guy came out right towards the top. Done. Done got melted pretty good. It's him displayed. The wonky guy. But looks nice. So we'll keep that and we'll keep on trucking. Hopefully something good pops out the top. That's we got their Mets beer came out right over here. We got a bottle here. It feels very much full. And we're gonna pull it out. Alright. Here the bottle is. It's actually Beautiful looking wine type bottle with a weird uh, rounding here. It's just got a point there and it's probably blown. Can't really tell. But yeah, that's a beautiful looking wine or spring water type thing, whatever. Ale. I thought it was amber at first. But I guess it's not. It's kind of cool that it was whole. There haven't been a lot of holes. But the beers and ales seem to do better than those sodas. So, huh. I don't know. Guys, this thing just popped out. And I have no idea what it is. It's like a sample whiskey or something. Oh, it's got a slug but no embossing. Oh. It's a rip job, but also at the same time, I don't care. This thing is pretty awesome. Look at that. What? No way. Super cool thing. To come out only the surface levels here, so like two feet down. It's technically the first blob thing I've had come out here that's whole so wow all right we're gonna keep getting at this hole hopefully we nail something all right guys so we're on the wrap up here so we got our bottles we got a damaged weeping water bottling works we got a stopper in it but it doesn't go to it uh Elwick Bottling Works, melted from Lincoln, Nebraska. We got this beautiful looking wine bottle, manganese, Columbia extra quality. We got a slug blank, no embossing med, 
Same for this, uh, this would have been like a sample blob beer for sample beer something. Broken Hutch, M. Seltzer from Nebraska City. The beautiful Samford's number 43. Dr. King's New Life, the uh, New Life Pills, and Aruba. So those are our bottles. So I hope you all enjoy.